We're Tanya and Adam. We live full time in our van Jitters. She breaks down a lot, but we're trying to take her to Italy and beyond. But first, since the weather here is so good, Adam's going to show me the little corner of the world in which he grew up, Devon, and it did not disappoint. We swam in tropical-esque waters, soaked up beautiful scenery, and swam with seals. I can't believe I'm swimming with seals! Subscribe to join us as we try and make the most of our little rusty van. So firstly, we just want to thank everyone so much for all your comments on the previous video about Jitsi's breakdown in Scotland with recommendations and advice. They have all been taken note of. They are all in one big list that we've got, but Jitsi is actually running perfectly now. Yeah, it's mad. It's so classic. <laughs> so we're just going to roll with it and hope that she continues to run as well as she can for at least for the summer because we've got some big plans. We want to explore Devon because it's where I'm from and go and do some Cornwall because Tanya's never been to Cornwall. And I've heard it's so beautiful. Yeah, so we're really excited to explore some of Cornwall. Um, and then we're going to do one big last hurrah around Europe. Um, we're going to try and drive to Italy. Who knows, we might end up going over to Croatia, make it down to Greece. I'd love to get Jits to Athens. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> so so we'll see. It's got a nice ring to it, hasn't it? Driving Jits to Athens. Um, so we'll see. But, you know, at the moment, we're just going to take it one day at a time and mm -hmm. hope that she continues to run well. But like I said, she is now. Yeah, so, good. yeah. Should we go for it? Yeah. Right. Let's do it. Go for a swim. Summer has always held a special place in my heart. The warmth of the sun, the vibrant flowers full of life, and the long, light days. And when the sun is out, there is no better place to be than by the sea. The water's so blue! So this is one of my favorite swimming spots. Uh, in Devon. Growing up, I would always come here. Mum would always come here and she swam with seals quite a lot of the time wow. here. Um, it's so beautiful. It's really secluded and there's almost always nobody here. So yeah, it's lovely. The tide's right in at the moment and the water is beautiful because the tide, when it comes out, it's like a bit of a cove and there's loads of rocks and you can chill out. But here, yeah, look at it. And the colour of the water, even though the sun's gone in, it's still just aqua blue. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, it's a bit of a scramble to get down, but it is worth it. Yes, some sun. What do you think of this then, Tanya? I love it. So we've got the towels ready, because even though it's beautiful water, it is going to be cold. They're just there on the rock waiting for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting braver. You are getting braver. Have you even really thought about the fact that we're getting in the cold water though? Yes, I just haven't complained. Okay, good, well done. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. There is a quote from Adam's favourite film that says, Do not lose time on daily trivialities. Do not dwell on petty detail. For all these things melt away and drift apart within the obscure traffic of time. Live well and live broadly. You are alive and living now. Now is the envy of all of the dead. Are you okay climbing over these rocks? Yellow or the blue? Yellow or the blue? It's times like these, being in Devon, looking at where I grew up through grown up eyes, that I think of mum and how she found happiness in the simple things. What happy was to her and how she would give anything to be here swimming in her favourite spot. Yes, it's funny when you say happy because happy sometimes just whooshes on you, doesn't it? It just comes and you think, oh, you know, and then it drifts off again and you don't think about it till it hits you the next time. But you trot along quite contentedly in between the bouts of happiness washing over you. I mean, happiness has washed over me when I was on 
that lovely walk in Scotland because it's just so amazing with all this beautiful scenery and it was a lovely sunny day and dogs were happy and I was walking and it it was beautiful and you just get oh 100% contentment which is happiness I suppose and that was just amazing and happiness a few swims in the sea when it's been so exhilarating you've had such a buzz that makes you happy Dartmouth is a historical seaside town situated within the South Devon area of outstanding natural beauty. Its history dates back to 1086. The port was used as the sailing point for the Crusades of 1147 and 1190. So guys, we are here, parked up in Dartmouth which is the tiny little town that I grew up in. And it's just really nice coming back as an adult and seeing it with fresh eyes. Because when you're a kid, you just don't appreciate it in the same way. Look at this place, it is great. So yeah, we're gonna go have a look around. There's a new little vegan cafe that's actually set up by someone I used to go to school with, <laughs> which is funny. <laughs> We picked up an orange and ginger juice and went to one of Adam's favourite nooks. One of my favourite places in Dartmouth has always been the old fort because you could just come and sit here. You, we sit in the little archway you know, that they'd have used to like point the guns out and defend themselves and you get this view. You cannot complain about that. And also, just to point out, we are sat right on the edge where the water is. We caught the ferry from Dartmouth across the river to Kingswear. Yay! Jess is on a ferry! It's operated using a floating platform pushed along by a tug. The ferry has been transporting vehicles and foot passengers across the River Dart since the 1700s. Thank you! Thank you! Confess why you're a big nerd. So, I'm charging a laptop, drone batteries, camera batteries, GoPro, watch, your phone, two power blocks and the battery is still going up because of the solar power because the sun's out and it's just so cool, I love that. You it's love so it. satisfying. Yeah, it's so satisfying, especially because I know that the price of electricity at the moment is ridiculous so this feels like a return on investment getting free electricity like this, it's just really satisfying. travel. It's not just about the beautiful new landscapes, sunsets from new viewpoints, swimming in foreign seas or hiking through foreign trees. It's not just about driving new roads you'll only see once or making a memory you'll replay for a lifetime. It's about what it means to be on planet Earth, the connection to others all on different paths, all making the same journey, experiencing the planet from our own unique perspective and sharing Travel makes you see how big our tiny planet really is. We are the universe experiencing itself. So go out and experience. Connect to new people, their culture, their perspective, their language.
One of our first trips abroad together was to Cuba and Tanya's Spanish made so much difference to the experience. We had such a close connection with the locals. They warmed up to us straight away as soon as Tanya was speaking to them in Spanish. Um, and not only was it great for the experience, but it was also great from a filmmaking perspective because we could get all these portraits that we'd have never been able to get otherwise. So for me, Learning a language is something that I've wanted to do for a long time and I've never been more motivated to, to do it than now. I've chosen Babbel because their teaching method is backed by Yale University researchers, which is really cool. They've also got podcasts, there's live sessions that you can do, and there are games. And I really can't wait to get to a stage where I'm good enough to do the games because I'm not there yet because I'm starting from absolute scratch. You can get 30% off a six month or a 12 month or a lifelong course by using the link in our description below. Um, and it's one of those things that I wish I started doing years ago. So I hope that my future self will be thanking my current self for starting to learn a language now. Because, you know, in five years time, I might be perfect at Spanish and I'll be like, God, thank God I started it. So now, now's the time. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Start now. Yeah. Link in the description. So I'm going to put something I've learned into practice here. Um, un poco de sandía, por favor. Mi amor. Mi amor. <laughs> <laughs> We parked in a National Trust car park and made the short walk to the Daymark. So this is the Daymark and it's effectively a lighthouse for the day. It's to help ships get into Dartmouth and it's really cool. It's such an interesting structure, isn't it? Yeah, I was just saying to Adam that I find this incredibly mesmerising because if you watch any of our other films, you know that we're absolutely obsessed with lighthouses. And this is basically a lighthouse except for the day. For the day. <laughs> day house. Day house. Day <laughs> house. The Daymark was built in 1864 as a beacon to guide ships to Dartmouth's busy but notoriously difficult to find harbour. It's 24 metres high and built from local limestone. It definitely does its job. It can be seen from everywhere. This place is so cool! This is amazing. I love anything that has any form of symmetry. Yeah. And this is it. Yeah, and it feels like Tanya was literally just saying to me, it feels like really otherworldly. It feels like quite alien as a structure. It's so odd. And I don't know if there are any other day marks around. I've only ever heard of this one. Um, so yeah, let us know in the comments if you know what a day mark is and if there are others around the UK or anywhere in the world because it's quite a unique structure as far as I'm concerned. The Brownstone Battery is one of the few surviving Second World War coastal defence positions. Built in 1940 to protect the Dart estuary and nearby beaches, Slapton and Blackpool Sands. The battery was manned by up to 300 soldiers. Their time was spent training and waiting for an invasion that never happened. This is amazing, you can just see there's just so much history here and it's really interesting to imagine what it would have been like back when all of this infrastructure was functioning and how lucky we are to not need to worry about having to defend ourselves in a war um, because yeah, it's mad. You just think of like the people's experiences that were here when this was all going on and this was all new, it's just, it's mad. The relics are free to explore and are part of the beautiful coastal path. Bit of a panoramic view there. This is stunning. Imagine this is a tiny home. That was wow. a big window. It's like a glamping pod. You could probably park G 
jets here three times over. <laughs> Back to jets? Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> You're up in the sky, I'll carry you home, home to the mountain leaf. And soon, my friend, you'll see them again. do is we'll come to a campsite and pay just to use the facility so we're topping over water here emptying the grey waste and we'll empty our toilet in the black waste as well and it costs us about eight pounds and whilst I'm out here filling up and doing all of that Tanya is in here making the most out of access to water and a drain by washing up the dishes and she's gonna clean the bathroom yeah i love anything to do with efficiency so we're maximizing our resources <laughs> here so top tip yeah because everything built up a bit and we ran out of water so it's like oh shame we can't do the washing up but then and it builds up and it's like right now we need to get some water <laughs> and we also ran out of space in the toilet so we really had to go oh yeah morning. it was getting it's getting pretty desperate <laughs> Oh, does that mean the sink's blocked? Oh, no, it does. Okay, hold on. There you go. Right. Yeah, she's blocked. What the hell? Did any protein go down? Yeah, I think that was my fault. Ah, oh, Adam. <laughs> Excellent. There we go. And that's how it's supposed to go. Good girl, Jits. Keep her stuff safe. Why have you got a waterproof bag? Ah, because we're going in the sea! This is John. We met him living in his camper van, parked up next to us, and he just so happens to be a kayak instructor. He very kindly offered to take us out to look for some seals. We are off on our kayaking adventure. Wish us luck as we search out for seals. Yeah, I've, I've only done kayaking once, so I'm kind of afraid that my arms are going to fall off, but... Where there's a will, there's a way. I'm sure I'll be fine. Yeah, there's quite a lot of kayaking actually. It's about an hour to get out there and then it'll be an hour back. And I'm sure there'll be at least an hour paddling around when we're there. So yeah. I've got snacks. Yeah, it's going to be a hell of a workout, but we're super excited. And there's John ready and waiting for us. Yay. <laughs> the legend that is. Great, cool. let's do it. Right, let's go. Okay, I've got to get my camera somewhere safe so it's not going to be back. soaked. Dry back, yeah. <laughs> Getting to grips with our kayaks, we paddled out through the beautiful Dartmouth Harbour, past Kingsweir Castle, and spotted our first friendly seal. Once out at sea, we made our way towards Mewstone Rock, a nature reserve. Paddling around in our little kayaks made us feel at home and safe, even though the sea is not our natural environment. And for fleeting moments, I felt like I could grasp the true scale of the ocean and how small we are in comparison. So we've spotted some seals already. We've just pulled in. And the trick is that you need to hang around and wait for them to approach you. So we're just floating here and there's two of them just over there and they're slowly but surely coming over to us. Um, and it's so exciting. They were very curious. They kept coming up to the kayak to play. Hello, oh. <sighs> Next up, I was going to get in the water with them. Little did I know that I wasn't mentally prepared. So I've drawn the short straw here. Only two people are allowed in a time and I'm staying out to look after the kayaks uh, because otherwise they just float away. Um, so Tanya, I think I saw her just over there, uh, right next to her seal. So I think she's having the time of her life. Oh 
God. <laughs> Spotting them was harder than you might think. They like to pop up behind me. Oh my God, my heart is beating so fast. It's a little bit scary. I don't know why. It's all I know. I bet you there's been some behind me. It's really hard to describe what that feeling was just to be in the sea with the seals and I don't think I anticipated the fact that I actually was a little bit scared because I would have been scared Yeah, I just didn't think about it I thought that maybe they were I don't, I don't know what I thought it was going to be like, but I definitely got scared. Every time I saw them, I was like, oh my God, I don't know if I want to look underneath and see if they're right next oh to God. me. But, because you're ultimately in their territory. But it was amazing. I really, like, I think I said it there. I was just like, I think this is the best day of my life. It was amazing. And it was a bucket list experience that I didn't even know I wanted. I just can't believe it. Like You knew you wanted it as soon as you saw seals in Iceland. You knew you wanted to swim with them. Oh, yeah, but I didn't think it was going to happen. Yeah. This is like, oh, swimming with seals in Devon. If you are ever in Devon, if you're ever in Dartmouth, then look up the guys. We'll leave a link in the description below and come and do it because it's such a great experience. Yeah. As we paddled back, we went straight past the brownstone battery we'd hiked to earlier in the week. It's so funny that that's where we were when we were hiking around the Daymark. <laughs> I have to say, <laughs> I'm absolutely knackered. I'm so tired and I've never been more grateful to be able to stand up straight. I am very much looking to forward to bed. And yeah, it was definitely a workout. It has inspired me to uh, do more shoulders and arms, um, but it was so worth it. The seals, just so good. And the boys are busy. The following day, we drove to meet Toby, a subscriber of ours, who very kindly invited Jits to park up on his parents' field while we got on with some work. It was an absolutely perfect spot for us to slow down, work out and be productive. Just wanted to share another typical morning in Jits. Jits is a mess, obviously. And I'm halfway through organizing her here. I've had my workout and Adam is outside doing his. We've got the weights, we've got the yoga mat, and we've got the chairs. Well done. He can't hear me because he's doing his. He's got his headphones in. We get a lot of questions in the comments and over on Instagram about what we've learned from living in a van, things like how to empty the toilet, where do you park, wild camping, all of that stuff, um, and filmmaking questions and all sorts. And we are very happy to announce that we have launched a podcast. We've done nine episodes already, and we kind of answer all of these questions. We explain a bit more about us, and yeah, it's just, it's gone really well. Yeah, we're really happy with it because we just get to have like a chat with ourselves. We also have special guests, and we talk about travel, road trip, adventure, alternative lifestyles, and we're just loving it. Yeah, our latest episode, which is being released today, same day as this video, is with the travel beans so if you're interested in them go check it out we've recently just done one with max and oki as well which was great max did most of the talking but yeah. it still was really good um so yeah 
it would be amazing. If you're interested, please go check it out because um, we answer a lot of questions there and we've actually just looked at our analytics on the podcast and we've seen that it reaches 91 countries. So it's listened to in 91 countries, which is mind-blowing to us. That's like half the countries in the entire world. So if you are from a podcast community, make sure to leave us a comment. Yeah, let, let us, us know. know. Yeah. You know how. One of the emojis. And if you know what we mean by that, then you know. <laughs> And the winter is bitter and cold And the spring is yet to unfold May your heart be strong And your love, your love remain We have absolutely loved our time here. It's been the perfect spot for us to get on with work. Look at it. It's stunning. It's flat. There's a tap. It's got everything you need. So thank you so much to Toby and family for letting us stay here because it has just been absolutely ideal. It's been perfect. And I'm a bit sad that it's the end of our Devon trip. Yeah. It it's been, been amazing. It has. What was your favourite bit? Definitely swimming with seals, even yeah. though it might have not looked like it because I was so <laughs> frightened. I was frightened. But I was it was exhilarating. I absolutely love it. And yeah, let us know in the comments if you've ever been to Devon, what your favorite parts have been of um the trip that we've been on. And also if you have any recommendations for Cornwall, please let us know because that's where we're off to next. And uh, thank you very much if you've already sent us some on Instagram because um that's where we've been most most active in between our films. Yeah, so I think that's it. That is it from Devon. Um, a massive thank you to our patrons, of course, and to anyone who's brought who has brought our Jits merch Yay! because we are really loving it ourselves. And uh, yeah, this one's a new one of mine actually. I'm trying this out. And newly launched shorts. Well, this is the prototype one. This is the prototype. Yeah, this logo is going to be a bit smaller, but they are now on the shop and ready to go. We're really excited about our merch and it's been really cool. Uh, you can actually buy it on jitsintosunset.com if you're interested at all. It really supports us. Um, or check it out on the YouTube shop. I'm not sure how that works, but it's up there. it's underneath this video. Underneath this video. So <laughs> go check it out. Um, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up because it really helps us. And we'll see you in Cornwall. And recommendations below, please, of course. Yay! You're like a song that I sing in the morning On a perfect holiday You're like the warmth of the sun on my skin The clouds look red Place with ocean view, you're like an old firm.